Rashad Robinson, uh, Executive Director of Color of Change. Thanks for meeting with me. Absolutely. Great. So uh, explain to me a little bit about what uh, Color of Change uh, wants to do. What are its goals? Color of Change is the largest online black political organization. And our goal is to empower and strengthen black America's political voice. So we work every day to make sure that our members' voices are heard on the critical issues impacting and facing America. Let's, let's talk about the internet because you say that you do you know, represent here uh, the voices of, of, of the black community regarding the internet. And let's be completely honest, no one needs the internet. No one needs the Actually, we really need the internet these well, days. Well, people claim that it's a necessity. We have moved, and we're moving to a society where we don't rely on paper the same way, where, where so many of the everyday things that people need to do simply to make a living and earn a living, to make sure they have educational opportunities, to simply survive all happens online. And, and the idea that some people are going to have access to that and some people aren't, and that sort of difference is going to have racial implications is something that none of us should be willing to accept. But would you at least uh, agree with me here? No one needs it on their phone. There's something called the digital divide. And that divide is, is oftentimes a divide that's, that has um, racial implications, has class implications. So um, wealthier white folks have more access to the internet than, say, poor black people. When you account for cell phone use, when you account for the ability to access the internet on smartphones, there's no digital divide between black Americans and other communities. And so it's critical that we fight to ensure that as corporations try to consolidate and try to merge, that we hold them accountable for ensuring that um, net neutrality is protected on cell phone usage. Then and only then are we truly protecting net neutrality for, um, for black communities and communities of color at large. What I hear you saying is you're calling, say, a Wi-Fi signal racist. That's what you hear me say? That's what I heard from what you just said. And that's interesting that, you, that that's what you took from what I was saying. But that, which leads me, in actually, um, to, to, to this next question, and I think it's an important one. And, and which, which corporation do you think should own the internet? Do you think it's Time Warner, Comcast, or Verizon? Because I think it's Time Warner, maybe Comcast. You don't really know what you're talking about, do you? 